YouTube is Brian Proctor back again with another video and this one is number two of my action poles position of the week now we have here is the finished product so yeah it's the finished product this is what we're going to draw or I drew and then we're going to flip the video so this is going to be the beginning even though it's the end and I'll show you how to do it so this is a new thing that I'm starting so every week I want to have a different action pose for you guys to help you draw to, to show you a little bit more about drawing and then action poses and I show you little things like a perspective and maybe some inking and get into some inking and uh, just to teach you guys a little bit more about doing drawing and positions so this is the final product so stay tuned and we will get this thing going again in video reverse motion all right okay so let's get this thing started and this is going to be more of an attack kind of pose like you know when you strike a pose you get ready to attack so the first thing you always want to do is you want to do a nice rough of your pose nothing detailed just a rough so and that way uh, you know that it will be on the page because a lot of people will start a a position or a picture and they'll do all this great detail on one part of the picture and they find out that it won't fit on the page so the first thing you're going to do is do a rough of the pose well that would actually be the second thing the first thing you want to do is get the picture in your head of what you want to draw so this is going to be kind of an attack position as I say so I'm going to do a real quick rough of uh, what we're gonna have and it doesn't have to be perfect this is just kind of so you know what you got what you're working with and it, it's it's subject to change that's why I say quick so somewhere like that so I know it's gonna fit on the page one and hopefully you guys can see this blue let me check my camera to see if it's not too light I think that's good get it focused and some people ask why do I do blue uh, color and it's because uh, one I think the main thing I like the way it grabs the, the, the paper it's not too slick and it has enough bite and it's not too hard to drag it across the paper and two this is a, a, a non photo blue so if I photocopy this in black and white all these blue lines won't show up so you don't have to really worry about uh, having so many lines all over the place because they won't show up anyway after you ink it so you don't have to do too much erasing okay so we got that and this is how it's gonna fit on the sheet so now let's detail it and the first thing you want to do is I'll see how the center line is gonna go let's give him a bit of a twist and then his shoulders he's um, his shoulders he, he's bent down let's put it this way so let's do this chest bottom of the chest shoulders and get some more lead and then the delts this this is very thin lead too so it breaks a lot and I'll show you if I can remember at the end of the video where I get this stuff I don't know if I got this one from Amazon or I uh, went to an actual dick blick but um I'll show you either way you can get it I, it's easier to probably go to dick blick and then get it so you have your chest and then go for your waist your hips and as I say your 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 delts both sides you have your center line here which comes up to your um, collarbone to give them that bent over look and a lot of people they might have trouble doing a bent over position and the way to do that is let me grab a pencil see if I'm good enough to do this with a pen so you guys can see it you have your position let's just say he's standing up person standing up like this leg spread and the head is here and the arms are here or well, however but you want it to be bent over so you have your collarbone here your center line here now the way to do that is one you want to drop the head so let's do this again so if you drop the head more you see the difference in starting to bend over 
a little bit more and then there's a center line now what you also want to do is start dropping this um, the collarbone down as well not have it have it so far at the top so you want to see more shoulder as you drop the collarbone so it's going to be it's going to come down lower below the neck and the top of your shoulders are more in a triangle like that and then you have your delts showing like that let's get a bigger paint is this this is not writing uh, let's try the S so it's gonna be like this you're gonna have that diamond shape your neck and your head now the further you drop your head down into that collar onto that diamond the the more bent over he's gonna look and then from here you just want to bring your chest here so if these are your delts you just want to bring your chest around kind of make it like one piece like if you play football that um, that shoulder the shoulder pads where it fits like that and then of course if you have your stomach here you're going to see less of the stomach so this part here is going to be tucked under there and then you're going to see less there and that gives them that bent over kind of look so now let's get back to our regularly scheduled program and of course this guy's going to have a twist to it it's breaking again oh and the thunder you hear in the background is because it's storming outside so even though it's storming the art must continue and I'm trying to go fast because I don't want a 20 30 minute video and your delts remember your delts you have your V or your diamond I don't know why I'm just calling that your diamond shape here that's your shoulder your delts are just basically two balls stuck on the end of it like so so and then I wanted to, to do it like that I wanted to give them more of an angle so let me bring this down just a little bit kind of get them up more of a perspective kind of feel one point perspective where one shoulder is higher than the other my leg keeps breaking that's the bad thing about this is you can't draw you can't bear down too much and we're gonna pull this arm back a little bit so you're just gonna see just a little piece of the bicep bicep because the elbow is going back and then let's do this here and this one is gonna go back as well but not as far as that one not as far as that one and remember what I said anytime you have the end of your bicep it should be a V because your muscles actually curve like that and broke again so you're gonna have that little dark broke again piece here same way here you're gonna have that V shape and your muscles are going to come like this and I believe if this one curves up I don't know what this one is called the muscles if it they have names I don't know what that one's called but it curves up to the top of the wrist if I'm not mistaken so let's work on this chest and then of course your base of your neck is going to start at the center of this thing so you want to come up like that to find your neck shape and then you bring your your uh, head into it and with the head I just keep going until I get the proper shape you don't want it too big and you don't want it too small so I just keep doing circles until I get the proper shape and then I start darkening darkening up the parts that I want so let's do it with this twist little bit of lats here and of course he's gonna have the love handles twist 
push this one up a little bit more. And the way that works is maybe rethinking this blue pencil thing. It comes down like that. This is going to be your center. It's going to be the center of the crotch here. So he's kind of like bent over with just a little bit of a, a twist to him. Like that. And as I said, these lines here, wherever your nipples are, these lines are going to kind of like match that, come up there. And the same with your ribs. People wanted, somebody wanted to say, I left a comment about working on drawing ribs. If you make a, a triangle shape from that pit here and out to the nipples, your side ribs are going to fall on this line here. He's bent over so you won't see that. So let's do this one leg. Now you're going to see a little bit of the buttocks here and then the legs are going to come up. The legs are going to come out to here. And this is where you have to gauge the length of each piece of the leg. You don't want it too short, you don't want it too long. And this one is going to, is going to go back. So something else I missed is going to be more of a perspective kind of stand like so. So which means this back leg is going to, the foot is going to stop somewhere here. The front foot is going to stop here to give it more of a, a one point perspective kind of a, a look. Your knee, your shin bone piece here actually it goes like this and it comes into the shin bone and then you have your calf and boy if this goes off the paper I will be embarrassed but I will cheat a little bit it's gonna go off the paper maybe I'll bend this leg up a little bit more to keep this foot on but let's work on this other leg first so you can see some a little bit of the hips or buttocks the leg so, and then this leg is going to come in instead of going out like that, it's going to come in a bit. So you have your knee and your calf like so. So basically if this, if you were doing the, doing the cylinders, it would be round like this and round like that. And then the foot. And to draw the foot, just draw a triangle, half a triangle, like that. So knee, calf, and then that. And I will bring this up because I really don't want that foot to go off. So let me lift that knee up a little bit or shorten this just to keep it on the paper so it would look like if you were doing the cylinders it would look like that then your knee then let's say about right there it's cheating a little bit but for the sake of keeping it on the paper and keeping me looking like an artist that knows what he's doing do that and I said just draw your triangle first or your half triangle then you can square it off kind of like a, a, um, a wedge or a piece of cake and then you round it off later so this is just tells you where the front of the foot is and the same thing with this one you can just square that off for people that have uh, trouble with feet so let me look back and see so we want to have your knee remember your knee is going to just be a triangle for the time being and that way you can tell where your center of your leg is going to be from that triangle and you can adjust accordingly because your muscles actually as I said they come off of this triangle like that this is why I do this muscle here this is kind of to me it's like the biggest part of your muscle and you have a it's like a almost like a teardrop here and one on the other side and they separate at the top same thing here comes up and one I think this one the outer outer side is longer than the inner side so you have 
something like this if I don't embarrass myself. Here's your leg. Here's your knee. And your calf. So draw your triangle. This one comes, it comes out like this and back. And the other one comes out like this and back. But I think this one comes down further. So this one will be way up here. And then you just have your part of your knee. It'll be more like this. Other would be up like that, and then you have that meat. And this is a you have this little you have your knee here, and then this part that comes around your knee and it goes straight down into your um, shin bone. And you have your calf, which is thicker out here and is rounder here or more flatter there. Same thing the other side. So let's work on this. Guys, some more. As I said, you're, you're, you want to round these off your shoulder because it doesn't really come into a point. It is rounded, but it's easy to start out with a point. And the higher the back is or behind the head, the more it is um, bent over. And this actually it wraps around this this delt actually wraps around the back. Chess. Let's work on that. And the muscles, uh, your fibers from your chest come out like this. Like that. So we got part of your bicep here. Your what is this part of the arm called? I don't know for now. Fists. I'll get my fists. Because it's always cool to have a fist. Especially when you're angry. Ink. And doing fists are basically squares, doing a box. And once you get it, it gets a little simpler. But I want to speed it up and do the details. So this doesn't run into like 20 or so minutes. So let's do, and because he's, he's bent over, everything's round, the stomach is gonna be round as well, like that. You can count how many times this thing breaks on me. Like so. And curves down. So you want to have, if you're muscular, this is going to be a, the muscle from this, this um, ah, your love handle. You're going to see some of that. And then that also leads to some muscle fibers that go into the ribs as well. crotch and this is going to go behind because this is going to go behind the leg now at this point if I was doing more of a serious drawing I would I would put this up for maybe like an hour or so or 30 40 minutes I would go maybe eat something or watch TV and that way when I come back I'll be able to say oh that leg is too short or, oh that's too too long or that's too big because you see it um, you, you keep seeing it and you're like oh that's great it's great but when you get away from it for a little while and you come back you say to yourself oh okay this is wrong this is wrong but I'm gonna keep going 
because I just want to get this done. Maybe I'll drop that foot down a little bit, but it looks kind of right. Your face, your face. So this is the center line, and because he is um, leaning over, we'll drop the eyes down a little bit more. I'm not going to draw the face. I'm just going to draw where the eyes and maybe the, the nose would be. So that means I would bring the mouth, the chin down a little bit further. So that is your basic pose of how it would be. And you, you, you're are separated. Your delts are separated in the three parts. So you can just draw the lines, a little bit of the separation lines, and it broke. One is, is in the center, another's here, and another's there. But there's a lot of striations in between, but just draw. Basically, this one here is, is the more important one. So like so, all right. So this guy, I'm not drawing toes or anything. Your, your, your outer ankle, your inner ankle is higher than your outer ankle. Just think about people on the inside. People on the inside are always higher than people on the outside. Think about like a club or something. You know, the gang, if you're on the inside, the inside man, they're higher than the outside people. So then curve this, you have your heel, goes up. And then curve around, and you just take that and curve it like so. And then, and what I usually do is I'll put a circle here. That helps me determine where the, the, the foot is or where the ankle, the foot fits up into the ankle. That's just me. Curve here, curve back out, and curve here give it a bit of um, a curve up here and a curve down man this thing is breaking like crazy and then remove that and remove that like so and then I think I will speed this up and make this fatter a little bit more speed this up and then do the details in ink well, let me see what i can do with this hand first two three and four and you're just drawing little sausages look at one two three and four into the square that you did and then one two three and four and go all the way back and in and that's kind of hard to see in blue because it's hard to see for me in this light because as i say it is storming and i don't have the sun to help me let me do this where's my red pencil that's another reason why i use two colors when i get mixed up with one i can use another one so we have the palm here we have the thumb coming up first joint here and then you have this and the thumb covers up a lot of mistakes shall we say so if you're drawing the hand and you have some mistakes on there you draw your thumb and that covers it up so that's nice of the thumb to help out that way one and two and like that so with this hand this could be longer right off the bat. Let me make it just a little longer. Even though it is going backwards, let's make it a little longer. So by me using a second pencil or second color, I can tell what my final line is. And that's another reason why I say at some point I usually stop and walk away from the drawing and then when I come back I can instantly see oh this is not right this should be like this and then the hand Bicep. 
This is called something. I just can't think of what it is. It's a fore, forearm. Is it the forearm? Because you have your wrist. Uh, and your wrist, this is not the whole wrist. The wrist stops here. So I, I think that's your forearm. It's one of those days. That might be a little long for me. I could probably cut it there. But since I worked so hard on that hand, I'm going to leave it like that. So, okay. One last go over with this red pencil. And as I said, this is going to be one coming up here. Chest is going to come, bring that chest in a little bit. It's going to be like one piece. Stomach is going to curve in. And that. And let's go with that. All right, so let's ink this thing and I'll put it in like double, triple time so you guys won't waste any more of your time watching and you can just get along and start to draw. All right, let's final adjustments. Let's see. This right here. And I said I was going to put it in, in fast mode, but I haven't yet because I want to make sure all these details are right. That hand could be a little big, it's a little big, but uh, as I say, I'm gonna, I just want to go with this. And then this here, you have your shoulder muscles like this. They come up from here, which goes into your neck muscles. They actually go behind your neck. And that comes out like that. You have the V here, and then you have the like two upside down triangles above your collarbone so remember that the neck comes up behind the head like that I don't know if you can see that or not I don't want to throw you guys off so let me go ahead and pause this study it and then ink it hopefully you can still see that I'm way off drawing all of that what I hate about not being able to see it in a monitor I'm trying to work on that where I can get something to you where you can see it in the monitor I can see it in the monitor as I'm drawing so I won't be drawing way down here and you don't see what I'm doing all right Okay, so I think that's going to be it for this guy. As you saw, I went and changed the hand. I brought the hand back in a little bit more because I looked at it and I really just couldn't deal with it being too far out. So I brought that back in a little bit more. I changed the foot just a little bit and um, did a little ink shadows. And that was about it for this. So that's going to be it for this week's action pose drawing. And I will see you guys later. Oh, and subscribe too, because I never really say that till the end. I'm trying to say that at the beginning of the video. Subscribe. And then don't just subscribe because you see one picture. I'm glad you do subscribe. But subscribe and go back and look at some of the other videos because there's a lot of stuff out there that there's a lot of good information, a lot of good drawings just to see too. So subscribe. And then please go back through my old drawings and then see what I have out there. So. With that being said and done, we will call this one quits, and I will see you in another video. All right, I am out.